We have been very fortunate to have support from the Wyman Youth Trust to do an in-depth partner, school partnership for three years with Rocks Hill Elementary and Visual Thinking Strategies. VTS, or Visual Thinking Strategies, is a curriculum, the K-5 curriculum and a professional development program. What it looks like is a three-year long-term partnership which focuses on teachers doing VTS with their students in the classroom and in the museum. Let's take a minute just to look at this without any comments. Just take a look at it, okay? Rox Hill is a school that serves a large number of children who are low income. The Fry offered them an opportunity to learn how to interact with art. Take a quiet moment to look at the image here. In a VTS lesson in a school, what that looks like is using, looking at art images and teachers ask three questions and they are, what's going on in this picture? And then with interpretive comments, what do you see that makes you say that? And then we constantly ask, what more can you find? What's going on in this image, Lily? I think they're making silk. So Lily says she thinks they're making silk. What do you see that makes you say they're making silk? Because I see some silk coons. Some silk coons. Coons? Oh, so you know these are silk coons or like a cocoon that has the silk? What more can we find? The facilitator also points to, for clarification and to keep the eyes on the same page, connects comments together, and paraphrases every comment. Hey, I see. Hey, I see the parents. I see those two men, men and the children. So I think they're trying to help their parents. Isaac is looking at the people in our image now, and he's inferring that these are the parents and that these are the children. Through the arts and through the study of arts, our kids can develop their brains and their minds and their spirits so much. And to have staff have an opportunity to likewise gain professional development in that area is something that currently we aren't really able to provide them from the districts. What more can we find? When I first saw those blotches down on the bottom, it made me think of oil. I think because of what's going on and so I started drawing these oil connections and the camel was a connection to oil from the mid mid east. It reminds me of the Chinese New Year with the dragon. You um, mean like figures under the dragon? Figures under it, propping it up and it up creating this <clears throat> more acceptable image on top where it's really just kind of machinery underneath. It's not real. Uh, going on what Peter had said about the oil, um, it made me look at the picture so differently because it's almost like he's putting these hats on these like drones. It just kind of seems like a parody of like we're going right into our destruction and he's kind of just orchestrating it a little bit. What's going on in this picture? For me, looking at art has always seemed really risky because I don't know what the right answer is for what's going on. And I think as a teacher as well, I often look for the right answer. And so to have a kind of curriculum where I'm not looking for the right answer, I'm looking for a good discussion, was really so enjoyable and I think has really expanded me in my teaching and in the way I approach students. Okay, so you believe that there might be an animal, maybe a coyote, back by the what some people are calling the ocean? What more can we find? Our community has been really strengthened because it's not just the really good writers who are shining, the good mathematicians who are shining, even the quiet students have an opportunity to really express what they see and the other students hear their voice. And VTS, through the questions that children are asked and the way they're taught to respond and be respectful in listening and really listen, which encourages them to think more deeply and in different ways, would fit with any content area. I disagree with Alonzo that the horse is duck because horses are very strong and they can knock stuff down easily. VTS is a method actually that started in the museum galleries at the Museum of Modern Art under the leadership of Philip Yanowin. VTS is based on the research of Abigail Halsen, who's a cognitive psychologist. She had and continues to study the way people think when they look at art. It allowed me to help think um, or understand a little bit of their thinking pattern and the way that they process things. I don't know that as teachers that we come out of pre-service programs ready to ask children questions in a way that help us probe more deeply. ¿Qué es lo que ves? Para decir que es este. The grass. I mean that they're playing in the grass? This oh, is big. ¿Qué es grande? 
they're not just kids going to a school, but they're students coming to school with a purpose, that purpose being to learn and then to demonstrate what they've learned. When I go down in the galleries or if I'm leading a tour or if I'm observing teachers leading tours using visual thinking strategies, I see all the students' hands up in the air. I see them engaged and I know that, to me, that equals success. Art now and museums are part of their background knowledge and they'll be able to draw on that for many years to come. I think what my students have learned the most from BTS is how to be students and to believe in themselves and to uh, see themselves as scholars. Yeah.